Good morning, Warriors. It's Cody. And it's Sophie. Welcome to the 30th edition of Wakefield Action Media. AP testing started this week. We spoke with some experts to get some tips for you. AP testing starts this week. We're here with Mr. Babachenko. What are some tips to prepare for the AP exam? Sure, I would say my first tip is to focus on what you can control. A lot of times students uh, dwell or have anxiety. Be calm and breathe while taking the test and to trust yourself in the full year body of work you've been doing while learning. Your level of confidence going into the AP exam is based on your level of competence. Put away distractions um, while studying, such as like their cell phone, probably powered it off. Go to the College Board website and to make sure that you know exactly what the test is going to look like, that you move through each section, um, you know the order in which the questions are going to be presented. Go through an old AP exam and look at how the graders have scored them. If you figure out strategies of how to deal with time pressure, um, you review, you practice, I think you should feel pretty good about going into the test. Avoid cramming the night before the exam. You want to be sharp, you want your mind to be clear, and cramming is just counterproductive. Preparing on getting a good night's sleep, a good breakfast, a day of. If it's an afternoon exam, make sure you have a good lunch, and just, yeah, trust that you've got this. We're freshmen and this is our first time taking the AP exam. We'll definitely be using these tips. Good luck. You, you can, can do, do it! it. May is Asian American and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. The National Park Services has gathered stories and traditions to help all of us celebrate this month. Tennis is in its final week of the regular season. Don't miss your shot to see them play. Hey everybody, I'm Claire, and today you are going to follow along for a day in my life as a tennis player at Wakefield. I'm all ready to go, so now it's time to go eat breakfast. Let's go. Okay, now we're on the way to school. Shout out to my sister for driving me. Hey! Every morning, I go to the library before school with these two. Now we're in A lunch and I'm having a salad for lunch. The Wakefield tennis team has games today and on Thursday. Come out and support us at 4 p.m. Yeah! Now that my match is over, I'm at the Wakefield lacrosse game with some friends. I'm now back home from the game and I want to say thank you for following along in a day in my life as a tennis player. Make sure to come support us on our games uh, today and on Thursday. They are home games at 4 o'clock. And if you want to support us even more, you can follow us on our Instagram at Wakefield Girls Tennis. I'm going to go to bed now. Bye. What's good, y'all? It's Abdu and I'm here with Levi. <laughs> and we're here to teach Abdu how to serve. Let's go. This is how you hit a forehand. Thank you for watching the Opti Show. Come support us on Friday, May 6th against WNL for our senior night. May the 4th be with you. Fast Flicks is back with their Star Wars episode. Hello, welcome to Fast Flicks. My name's Jaden. My name's Lucas. And I'm Rockman. Hello and welcome to Fast Flicks. Today's episode is a fitting one because it's the three best Star Wars movies. So let's get started and may the 4th be with you. For our first movie, we're putting the end at the beginning, because we're talking about Return of the Jedi. This movie is a thrilling conclusion of the original trilogy, so prepare for twists and turns, because this movie is a bumpy ride. Hey, you missed. Now for our next, it's The Revenge of the Sith. 
As we watch this, you'll come through the highs and lows of the Republic's last hours. So get ready for it. Our last movie, number three, is A New Hope. This is where the whole series begins and where we meet a lot of characters that the fans still know and love. After watching these movies, we hope you enjoy the Star Wars franchise just as much as we do. This has been Fast Flicks, and now, now it's time, time for us to Fast Dip. That's it for this week. See you next Wednesday for another exciting edition.